You mind? I should just pack it up and move home. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the drugs that are running through your body right now. What? Lance, slow it down. Slow it down, my man. I can't believe you gave me drugs. I thought they were candies. Candies? No, these, these are definitely drugs. These are, these are old friends. You, we got some uppers. We got some downers. Uh, yawners. They make you sleepy. He's a, a film noir. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening to me? Am I going to see things? Lance, you're going to see all the things. How long do I have before I start losing it? I don't know. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Hot trick question. You don't have fingers because you're an asshole. One and... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, Lance, listen to me closely. You need to decide right now if you're gonna have a bad trip or if you're gonna have a sweet ride to the tunes at Jerry Rafferty. What the fuck are you saying? Lance, I'm saying you gotta relax. I'm telling you to relax. How can I relax when your face is vibrating at 20 kilohertz? What does that even mean? That red light's gonna turn green. Oh, you might have the sight. I'm falling apart. I can hear the falconer. Look, you need to calm down right now. Lance, calm down. I need you to breathe. <gasps> right? OK, you can't. We can't wind up the infinity clock right now. Because once you fall down gravity's rainbow, there's no getting up. Ooh, that sounds horrible. Why did you give me those drugs? I wanted you to have a real experience. You say you're a writer, but what have you done that's worth writing about? You always fucking do this shit to me. Oh. You trick me into going up for some bullshit milkshake and then something terrible happens. I'm sick of it. You, look, you can blame me all you want, but you do not call the milkshake bullshit. I have a job interview in the morning. Lance, I am a known drug dealer that carries around a bag of pill-sized treats. You knew these weren't candies? Come on. You wanted to bomb the job interview so you could tuck tail and go back home. Why would I want that? You moved out here to be a writer, and you never even tried. If you, if you get this job, it means you have to stick around and actually make an effort. You have to work all day, write all night, and eat ramen and shit. I don't know. Losing the job means you can go back home and blame other people for your problems. You're right. See what I'm saying now? You can't blame anyone else for your problems. Not Deb, not Prius drivers, not even me. Because there is no me. What? What? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Ah, I'm just messing with you, man. You're a fucking dick. <laughs> come on, come on. Lance, Lance, you got to stay in LA. You can do this. But I'm as high as a... Oh, Georgia Pine? I know, I know. Lancey Pants, I'm gonna be right there with you all the way. We're gonna do this trip together, okay? Lance! Great, no! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
like Cannonball Run or Speed or like Speed 2 but I guess I guess not Speed 2 unless this car is the boat I, I mean what I'm trying to say is is that Mr. Swanson that was one of the smoothest driving tests that I've ever been a part of I mean the way you got around that wreck was just it was incredible look it's I know it's gonna sound crazy to say but it's it's almost like you could see into the future like into the nth dimension? I, yeah, I, look, I know it sounds crazy to say it out loud like that, but, I mean, looking this over, I am confident that we can find a, a space for you on our schedule. I mean, assuming you still want the position. I, I mean, like, I know you have your doubts about sticking around and, you know, it's kind of a tough town and all, but hopefully by putting a little bit of change in your pocket, we can get you at least somewhere closer to your dreams. I mean, so what do you say? Absolutely. I would love to work for you. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so pleased to hear that. And thank goodness you were able to reschedule. Hey, look, buddy, I know how difficult family can be. My mother, oh, whew. every time I see that number on my phone, God, but I have to answer. It's just, she's just the worst. You should, you should meet her sometime. She's just, ugh. I mean, we could we, we could share war stories over, uh, you know, like a brew or a, like a burger or something. Uh, there's a there's a really cool omelet place up the street. It's called the Egg Hole. I mean, it's a little risque, but you know, it's kind of fun. Um, they got like they got like mixed OJ drinks there too. If, um, if that's your bag. <clears throat> Um, you'll be hearing from us soon, and, uh, hey, I'm really excited to read this book that you've been threatening to write. Me too. 